welcome this is the energy vibration reading for all sun moon and rising Gemini's this is the month of June 2017 and the month of June is a fire energy vibration month um, it is the energy of the chariot the energy of the chariot is a wonderful energy because this make this means that success victory and triumphant is coming in for um, um, a lot of Gemini's and um, it can only affect you if you are a positive person that is bringing out positive energies then this is going to bring you back wonderful good energies what is so wonderful about you Gemini's in this month of June what is happening is that the wheel of fortune is bringing also success so you have triumphant and success and also the wheel of fortune is bringing you luck luck riches abundance money uh, respect um, is coming in people are admiring you for what you're doing only if you are been vibrating and giving out good and positive energies that's only when you will receive it so please don't say well I didn't receive it if you didn't receive it that the reason is that you haven't been giving out good and positive energies to other people so you won't expect to receive good and positive energies in your life okay so this is going to be a wonderful month for you Gemini's congratulations this is a month of success for you Gemini's out there is a, is a month of recognitions and success huge things are going to come in and going to play a role in your life so be aware this month is going to be the month of victory and success and you are going to be aligned with these energies okay so um, <clears throat> be aware of and, and be understanding of uh, what is going to affect you in this month remember if you work with the angels it's this our Angel Metatron. I will try and remember to put in his um his picture so that people will know and um, call upon Archangel Metatron, ask him to place the orange coat of protection around you. Um, who else is working here? Is um we have uh, the energy vibration of wonderful energies that are coming in with the wheel of fortune for you guys, and it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a lot of success for you, Gemini's, who have been vibrating and giving out good positive energies, or uh, consciously or unconsciously. So it's going to be good. I'm looking at your reading and it's going to be a positive positive week this month of June have five weeks people five weeks so we need to learn to work with the energy vibration in this five weeks it's going to be a long month um, money is not going to be a problem but yet still it's going to be a long month as we look at the first week um, we have the four of ones the four of ones in the first week is going to be a very strong foundation so whatsoever is happening in the first week of June your foundational um, balance is going to be extremely extremely strong so whatever is happening this week is going to be a week where the, the uh, marriage is going to take place invitation of marriage is going to come to you um, this sort of energy is going to bring you wonderful wonderful vibrational energies that is going to cast you it's going to be a month of celebration in the first week the first week is an an, an earth energy vibration week uh, and you have in the four of ones bringing strong stability so this is going to be whatever you are building on is going to have a very strong um, positive energy vibration that is going to be taking root and foundation so um, and, and, and it's so powerful to have the four of ones within within an earth energy vibration week because you're bringing positivity and you're grounding and you're bringing stability in your world invitations a lot of invitations will be coming out to a lot of you Gemini's a lot of you are going to be getting um, message of invitation to certain things certain aspect that sort of a thing um, invitation from certain organization people if you're looking for work it is good in the first week uh, if you have been looking for work message is going to come in so it's an invitation um, to start something good in the first week so this is just going to be grand for you Gemini's 
the next um, situation um, that I'm seeing is that um, with incense and with the incentive of your financial aspect and uh, if you are a woman trying to get pregnant um, news of that sort of a thing will come to you maybe uh, you have taken tests to see what the uh, what is blocking you and um, this is going to come in and it's going to be good news okay it's as if they said okay we see what's the problem please come in okay and and, and let's move on from there so this sort of a thing um, the aspect of your financial needs what you need is going to be um, grounded so that means you will never have worries uh, for the rest of the year okay so um, this is good this is good because the two first week is going to be one of your best week for you Gemini's the two first weeks is going to be one of your best week you Gemini's the two first week of this month is going to be um, um, the, the best and after your zodiac energy vibration for the year 2007 is ended then you're going to start seeing the changes you're going to all uh, uh, on a new journey whether mentally physical or but you're, you're going to change your own energy vibration on a new journey and in the third week a lot of stuff is going to happen okay each zodiac energy vibration is going to get certain numbers certain zodiac numbers that you're going to work with with yourself okay so we'll have changed up the reading um, in that form we have four of uh, oh um, the four of sword we have the four of sword um, which is stability but yet still strength resting the four of swords so we have four and we have uh, um, 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 27 and four um, that is 27 that's nine and four uh, that's 13 and one is for achievements and this is what I was saying so there is going to come in a lot of achievement because four and seven is eleven, um, eleven, uh, one and three, um, and three and one is four. So it's four. It's stable. So the first week for you guys is going to be the number four. It's going to be stable. Uh, number four is going to be a significant role stable so it's stable but yet still the energy of the angel that is going to occur in this week okay as we look at the second week the second week is going to be grand because we have the energy of the chariot um, the energy of the chariot is here in the second week the energy of the chariot is bringing wonderful energy vibration in for you it's a victorious and a successful month the energy of chariot is uh, um, raising the energy of uh, clearing certain things um, together with the tower energy is uh, bringing clear into certain relationships certain things uh, and with this uh, there is going to be invitation coming to you coming into you there are going to be invitation um, coming into you there's a lot of invitation a lot of people are going to be so connected and a lot of invitation are going to be coming in to so many people in the second week and that is the second week is the last week of your zodiac um, energy vibration for the year 2017 and that's where you're going to see a lot of changes and a lot of good things a lot of invitations and that's why I'm seeing a lot of changes going to happen because with the energy of the chariot the chariot and a wonderful sense of um, um, you're getting invitations to a lot of things so the chariot is movement but yet the chariot is a sense of victory and success when you're victorious and success over things then you're going to see new things and new doors start to open up a new invitation people start invite you and people start to want you to be a part of situations that is around them so that's the second week and that's the last um, week of your um, zodiac birthdays you Gemini's and as we look at this we are seeing um, 20 and uh, 7 that is 27 27 2 plus 7 is 9 so you have the energy vibration for the second week of the number 9 energy okay you have the energy vibration of the second week for the number 9 energy 
as I move forward and I look at the third week, the third week is um, the energy of the fool on a new journey and I'm loving this with the energy of the fool on a new journey because the energy of the fool that means you have uh, with the energy of the chariot in the, the last week that means transformation you're taking the sense and you're transforming certain aspect in your life the transformation uh, system is working where you're moving to something much better and you're moving away from something because a secret came out a secret came out somehow a secret came out to a situation that you weren't aware of a secret came out and with the secret that comes out um, um uh, I, I the uh, the energy what is around some people is that you have found out something the energy of justice releasing information a secret came out uh, to something in your life and this thing some people it's going to affect your relationship um, some people are releasing um, people by divorcing some people are going to find out something about your partner and you are going to um, realize that uh, some people are going to realize that uh, a friend they have was unjustly accused of something and you are just going to be profoundly um, perplexed because they, you're thinking how could they done this to, to someone like this and your partner is going to okay it's as if you have a best friend and your partner has does this injustice to your best friend and you're going to find out about it and release yourself from your partner because your partner has been deviously doing stuff and affecting your best friend without even knowing and this is it you know people I really need to get this message out sometimes you meet a new partner and you decide to tell them everything about your past lover and everything about your friends don't do it do not do it because what you do and sometimes you create and you say things that is not um, you, you say things that you make up stories about certain things this is affecting you and you have created the situation for your best friend so whosoever you are out there there is a tree triangle situation where you were or is either someone is two scenarios you had a relationship the relationship went out and sour and the other person move on with their life and you stay sour you found someone who like that come in your life which was whoa uh, that was fast and you are thinking there is something that I'm not my energy vibration is not connecting here with but you let them overpower you with things and someone is out there that this partner that you that just came in your life in the rush but didn't just came somebody sent them and somebody sent them to affect a good friend or your ex-partner so it can affect it can be a good friend of you or it can be your ex-partner but whatever you did you also create uh, the horrible situation that your partner has uh, your ex-partner has been dealing with for a couple of years you should not have done that people remember whatsoever you do with someone it's like whatever um, whatever happened in Vegas is stay in Vegas if you're in a relationship the relationship has ended leave it there do not um, speak bad of people and that sort of a thing and 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 and, and because people find that they need to move on you know if the relationship was good they would have stayed but you create the situation for someone a good friend or a best friend and this is the effect of it you're going to find out that your partner has been working against your best friend or something and you're going to remove uh, away from this. this this situation has been coming up from 2016 for some of you Virgos it's about time you release this negative energy the person you are in a relationship where she is not 
he or she is not good for you release this person look at the pattern what happened in these relationship why this person is in your life and release them okay you need to do that as we look at the third week this is was a powerful message that came in the third week the uh, the moon came up with the moon is always the intuition the moon is always the, the sign of the intuition the moon comes up which you need to look within for um, wisdom you need to look within for wisdom you need to connect with the inner world with the unseen world and look for the wisdom you need to create an healing for this situation the moon comes up and this moon is going to affect a lot of you men out there I, my throat is going to I have to take sips the moon is going to affect some of you men out there this moon energy is going to affect you and um, some men do not like the psychic part especially you you Gemini's it's a situation in the third week this is going to affect you because it's the end of your zodiac birthday and you're transiting in the cancer the energy of the cancer is the energy of the moon so the cancer is having an effect on you be aware of this for the men out there for the women if you're looking for a relationship the third week uh, the fourth week is a positive week if you're looking for your soulmate and twin flame there's a lot of um, lurking relationships that is behind there uh, for some of you Gemini's you are still in love with our ex-partner go back to that person but the Gemini's who are still in love with your ex-partner go back ask them for your forgiveness go back okay I'm getting this if you um, have left or your ex-partner left you or whatever the situation was uh, you're still in love with that person go back a lot of Gemini's are going to be affiliated with the soulmate energy um, the energy vibration is open for the people who connect with the twin flame in the third week right after your zodiac energy of your birthday it's going to start happening okay as we look forward and we're trying to see what is the number in in this week the moon the energy of the moon is always the number 18 one and eight is nine so it's always spirituality you have nine to nine in this week 99 it is the end and the alarm bell that the universe is sending out to you Gemini in the fourth week number 99 is the energy vibration where um, the universe is sending out to you that it, it, there is an end to a situation move on let it go there's an end to it move on okay love is very strong in the fourth week for you Gemini is extremely strong um, the moon energies is in again the moon energy is in the fourth week and 18 and why 18 1 plus 8 is 9 2 times 9 99 is here and the love is a very powerful energy in the four weeks for you Gemini so your number is going to be 99 or 9 in the fourth week as we move on to the fifth and last week we have the energy vibration of no more in limbo so um, you Gemini has been in limbo for a time and now you're ending the sort of energy vibration of being in limbo so now you're standing straight now you're no longer in that uh, phrase mood that mood of revitalizing yourself and regaining your energy you're out of that mood you're out now to go for what you want and it is going to happen because balance is here the energy of balance is here the energy of stabil stability in your life is here which is a wonderful energy so for you Gemini's it's going to be a time when a stability um, comes in your life and a success 
in um, in work success in your life success in business for the ones who have business is going to be a, a, a promising promising um, effect um, for the people who are in business also um, um, you're going to be um, air can um, um, you're going to be um, heard off you're going to be a very well known okay um, as I look at your reading it's uh, um, an invitation good news from out of uh, where you live or as some people good news from either where you live or from outside where you live um, is coming in and the good news can be invitation and and uh, and then you have um, a secret whatever there was a secret and the secret is now reveal the secret is now reveal it's an unveiling of the secret in the third week in the fourth week you have the energy of love that is coming in very strong the third week love in the third week is going to be so powerful and this is going to be extremely good in the fourth week you are going to have a balance it's balanced but it's more um, work your the situation at your work if you have problems at your work is going to come to balance it's going to have a stability it's going to be a wonderful balance that is coming in your life which is extremely good so as and, and the overall of your month it's going to be a very um, positive month where um, success and achievement but yet still your life successful event is going to flow and this is going to bring positive energies in because you have the energy of the wheel of fortune I've changed up my reading and I am doing now the astrological day of the reading and the energy for the Sun of people the Gemini Sun um, rising people you have uh, to work out uh, and uh, the zodiac um, the zodiac that is going to um, be um, affecting you is the scorpions okay so the zodiac energy of the people who will be affecting you is the energy of the scorpion people they will have a huge effect on you in this month the scorpion people are going to have a very huge effect on you in this month and the planetary aspect of mars is going to affect either you or the scorpions who you have an who has an effect on you because whenever scorpion um mars and uh, um and 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 the scorpion comes in contact that is going to be something of be careful they will bite you hard so i am understanding this if your sun sign is the gemini this the gemini sun sign you have a situation to do with a scorpion be aware of this person um, because they're coming with the energy vibration of the Mars energy and the Mars is like tearing everything apart so be aware of this person okay you are being warned you have been forewarned you Gemini's Sun rising Gemini's you have been forewarned of the scorpion that is coming at you for the moon rising Gemini's um, who is going to affect you the most people that is going to have an effect on you is the Aquarians and this is this could be good especially if you're looking for love this uh, this works in your favor if you're looking for love this is going to work a lot in your favor so this is going to be good um, so this is going to be extremely wonderful um, for you guys who are looking for love and working with a scarp the, the Gemini's the Aries Aries people so if you are a Gemini moon rising um, the effect of the Aquarians are going to affect you and the effect of the Aquarians is coming in with also the Leo so this 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 is okay yes it is the Aquarians and the Leos so what's the is happening to you Gemini's of the um, the moon sign Gemini's you are going to be affected by the Aquarians there's a lot of psychic energy that is here because the moon energy is your 
is in the fourth week and you have also the energy of the moon and the, and the moon have to do with psychic but it also has to do with your work um, somehow some things have, um, connect the moon to your work really strange because I would think that the Fox energy would have been connected to your work but sometimes in different aspects and different things the moon energy and it is always success so you have to deal with the Aquarians and the Leos in um, this month of June so you know be aware of this and accept whatever is happening um, and you know we can't change certain aspect of what it's what, what is coming in so for you um, moon energy guys um, you have an the Aquarians and the Leo is going to have an effect on you and I'm working also with the last and final card we have the vortex let's see what's happening in the vortex for you guys what's happening in the vortex and you have the law attraction assembling all co-creation of relationship I think I've had this this came out in the general reading so there's a message this came out in the general reason so there is the vortex of becoming a vortex that contain all of uh, um, the resisting all of the ambition and things and all cooperating component are being sur surmounted and are become are coming for the completion of these creation for the answering of these questions and for the solution of the problem so this came also in the general energy so there's obviously a message here and it's for you Gemini's um, listen to the message whatever is happening and um, be aware of this okay there is something else my guides are guiding me to do um, for um, the lunar energy the energy of the lunar um the moon rising sign of you gemini's um there is an aspect what is happening for you know um you guys are gemini's okay seeing two side of everything questions can defeat the intuitions and that's you Gemini's so you're trying to see two sides you're trying to see two sides of every question and the question can defeat your intuition so now I'm aware why so many moons came up in your reading because you're trying to you know see two sides of a situation and the, the questioning your intuition is telling you one thing but you're questioning your intuition listen to your intuition your intuition is telling you one thing but you're questioning your intuition listen to your intuition okay um, when I have that I start I question and then and sometimes my intuition gave me things and then I start questioning it whatever way both works together but listen to what the intuition is saying to you um the last week um the number in the last week for you gemini's is eight and three some people will have an abundance of you know stuff uh, fertility not um, the nurturing side and some people will have financial abundance so this is a wonderful month it's going to be a wonderful month for you Gemini so be aware of this and I am saying I please like and share these videos thumbs up please go back and listen to the general readings because another energy vibration from the vortex came out so obviously the energy vibration the vortex the vorto they um, wanted to get um, certain information to you Gemini's it is your birthday month from the first until the 20th and this sort of a thing is changing so be aware of this so remember your Sun sign what is going to affect the people the Gemini Sun sign is the scorpions and Mars the planet Mars and what is going to affect the the moon sign is Aquarius and Leo 
be aware of whatever you their thoughts send out in the universe you are the masters of your own mind um, this is what is going to come back okay so I am seeing this for you guys as a wonderful performed month of wonderful thing the third week remember it's a week of love that's where the love is the invitation the good news that is coming in it is a sort of a love but um, real true love the soulmate and the twin fleet energy is in um, the um, the fourth week okay and this is the time please thumbs up share these videos and I am saying namaste connect with me and clarity